I was fortunate enough, uh, my dad was a <clears throat> teacher and a coach here, was a baseball coach and assistant athletic director for 32 years. So I, I've grown up here and grown up in the gym, in the batting cages, <laughs> you know, on the sidelines of football games as a ball boy when I was younger. Um, so it's kind of a unique perspective. I was an alum, graduated in 94 and was able to come back here in 99 and I've been teaching here ever since and coaching. Um, so it's kind of a, it's a cool, I guess, vision of this district to see it from where, you know, in the 80s and 90s when I grew up to where it is now. And um, yeah, I mean, so I've, I've gone here K through 12 and now 24 years of teaching. I would say one word to describe him, it's tough, but I think uplifting. I mean, countless times he's uplifted the kids in our school. He's uplifted a lot of the players on the team. Um, he understands everybody's personal situations, what they're going through, whether or not you're late on an assignment or you're having a bad day at practice. He's always trying to uplift our guys. Um, and he is just a positive force throughout the entire school. I think the most impactful word is dedication. He is dedicated. He is always available. He is always available for parents if you're on the committees, if um, even the kids available. It could be about workouts, it's, it could be anything that has to do with school, workouts, um, uh, anything that's going on in the sport. Another word that I that's maybe not like necessarily football related but just comes to mind when I think of Coach Brediger is consistency. Um, he's consistent in his professional life, in his personal life, in his coaching career. Um, he's, he's been consistent. Um, as a teacher, I see mainly freshmen, you know, honors kids, and I get a chance to look at them in our neighboring classrooms when they're seniors and juniors in advanced placement biology or anatomy classes, and you see the growth of that, that kid, you know, to see them, they're taller, they're bigger, they're more mature, they're, you know, when they come back and talk to you about, you know, what they're learning and what they're excited about, that's awesome. Um, from a coaching standpoint, most of these athletes I've known since they've been in second or third grade, from youth camps, you know, all the way up and you see them develop and then you watch them in middle school on the sidelines um, and you get a chance to, you know, to go through the middle school and talk to them, you know, throughout the week during lunch or in the hallways and you see them turn into to grown men, essentially, you know, and that's to me the best part is watching them grow and develop and, and hopefully sending them on their way with, with um, the best, you know, best way to handle life that we can. We got to know Coach Bredeger uh, the last two years of Anthony's uh, time at North Olmsted High School. We were on the parent committee uh, for the football team. And we know through uh, those interactions, the level of dedication that he showed the team, uh, not only scholastically, but also athletically. It was incredible. The man is super dedicated to the students and to the football team and North Olmsted is is uh, really lucky to have. I would say something that Coach B taught me throughout my high school was how to be a leader and the importance of my leadership role not only as a quarterback on the field but uh, as a, that type of role as it bleeds into the classroom, bleeds into the hallways, how people tend to look at football players, that type of respect you carry and um, that type of importance it has throughout the school, um, not only with like school pride, um, but representing your football team. He helps them not only on the field, but not also in the classroom, but then off the field and where it really counts in, in life. The best part is that I hope they know that, you know, not just me, but our coaches and our teachers, that we care about these kids. But for me, it's is being that, that coach that I loved or I needed when I was in high school. You know, every kid here is, it goes through something that we don't know, whether it's family, it's work, it's, you know, it, it's boyfriends, girlfriends, whatever it is, right? And, and being that coach or that person that that kid can talk to, that he can rely on, he can confide in, um, or it's that coach that pushes them when they need it, when they're being lazier, when they're being tired, or when they're, you know, they're not having the best game. Like, how do we help these kids move on and grow? And I hope these kids understand that um, 
that's the motivation for most of the things that I do as a head coach is preparing them for college or work or the military or to be a dad, you know, to, to do things the right way.